Hello, welcome to my channel. I am going to do a short video on how to apply your tabs to your dashboards. Now, I've trimmed down um, the A5 dashboards to fit into my B6, and um, I will probably just add regular paper on the back to make them into dashboards. Uh, for my dory, but I wanted to show you how I'm adding all the tabs on. Now I have used the tabs for a few other projects, so I've had to get a little bit creative and I'm going to use the clouds from the April kit um, in 2017 as my fourth tab. So hopefully, hopefully you'll get the understanding of how I put them on, how I center them, how I make it so you can see each one, that kind of stuff. So we're going to get started. So they're already sticky and you can just place them on. So I've, because I've cut out my dashboards, this is kind of the order that I'm thinking of doing them in. And so on my front dashboard, the January dashboard, I'm going to line up my tabs so that they line up with the top of the page. So you can see that right there. And then I'm going to fold it over and attach. Okay. Then I'm going to skip all the way to the back page. And I'm going to do the same thing with my clouds. Oops. Helps if I actually pay attention to what I'm doing. Alright, so my clouds I'm going to line up on the bottom. So same deal, just put it down on the bottom of the page, sort of wherever you like. I like it so that it kind of covers up the bottom square corner because if you line this this portion up, like say you did it like this, and then as you can see you end up with a tiny little bit of the dashboard sticking out in the corner. So I don't like doing that. I like to li lift them up a little bit and then uh, make them so that you can't see the corner I'll show you right away as soon as I punch it. And then you can see, you can't see the corner right there. So that's really nice. Okay, so now you've got these two dashboards done. So now I take these two dashboards and sandwich them together. And then I take my front two, or my middle two dashboards and I put them in front of those two dashboards. And the reason for that is then I take my other two tabs and I'm going to pretend that that's where I want that one. So I kind of move them around a little bit to see where I want them in relation to the other tabs. So these ones, as you can see, there's going to be like a little V shape in between each set of tabs, and that's sort of centered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at the sheet and see kind of where it falls in relation to the drawings on the page. This one in relation to this is on the top orange arrow there. That's kind of where I want this to sit. So now I can take my glue stick and put a bunch of glue on it. Oops. Good thing this glue comes off pretty easily. <laughs> Alright, so again we want it to match up there and because I've lifted the other ones up a little bit slightly for the edges, I want to make sure that I do that with my center tabs as well so that when I fold this over it lines up. Okay, now it doesn't Wait. Yeah, it does. Okay. So now and I just press it down. And then I take the other sheet that doesn't have a tab yet and I move it to the top. And because I've already got these ones placed, we can just go ahead and put glue on this right away because we can just place it. 
and again you're going to line it up so that it mimics the other ones lift it up fold it over and there you go and then you just want to take these two sheets and put them in the right order Oops. They get all stuck on each other and there you can see you have perfectly aligned tabs so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helps you a lot um, with your tab placement. And leave comments below if you'd like to see more videos, what you'd like to see, that kind of stuff. I'm always up to doing videos. So have a great day. Bye.